Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, very fun problem posed by a famous Indian mathematician, Ramanujan. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, a few centuries ago. And he said that what he actually posed was x is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 times square root of 1 plus 3 times square root of 1 plus 4. Um, so he put this out across the world. All the mathematicians in the world were able to look at this and try to solve it. And after a few months where nobody was able to give him the solution, he just went ahead and posted it. And it turns out that x is just equal to 3. And we're going to talk about why that is. So if you want to try to reason it out for yourself, please pause the video and take a minute. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight in and do it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at kind of the answer. So we're going to do it backwards. So we're going to look at 3 and see that 3 is the square root of 9. I think we're all on board at this at this point. <laughs> Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start breaking this up, and we're going to say 3. So if we write that as the square root of 1 plus 8, okay, seems fair. So let's do it again. 3 is the square root of 1 plus 2 times 4, okay. So 3 equals the square root of 1 plus 2 times the square root of 16, right. So 3 equals the square root of 1 plus 2 times square root of 1 plus 15, Okay, everything looks good so far. 3 is the square root of 1 plus 2 times the square root of 1 plus 3 times 5. All right, this is looking suspiciously like it's going to work. So 3 plus the square root of 1 plus 2 times the square root of 1 plus 3 times the square root of 25. All right, let's look at one more thing. So, yeah, I mean, I can obviously pull out that 1. So, is this... It sure looks like it's going to work, right? It looks like this is just going to keep going forever and it's going to equal our solution. What's happening here, though? So let's look at what's going on inside each of these expressions. So for example, let's look at what's happening inside here. So we have 16, and we're noticing that 16 is equal to 1 plus 3 times the square root of 5 squared. And I'm going to rewrite this 16 as 4 squared. So our real question is, does this pattern hold for every single number? If this pattern holds for every single number, then it looks like everything's going to be good. So let's replace this with an n. So if n equals 2, so that's n squared equals 1 plus, so the 1 is in every expression, so let's just leave that as a 1. And then we have 1 less, so n minus 1 times the square root of n plus 1 squared. Okay, so let's look at this. So I get n squared is equal to 1 plus n minus 1, and then I can write this as n plus 1. So right here we have the difference of squares, so n minus 1 times n plus 1, which is just going to be n squared minus 1. So what do you know? We actually get n squared is equal to 1 plus n squared minus 1, so these ones are gone, and that is a true statement. So it turns out it's a true statement. It doesn't matter what our n values are. So if we're going from uh, 3 squared, and we want to get it to 1 plus 2 times square root of 4 squared, boom, we can do that. We can jump down to here. We'll be able to jump down to the next step. So it will be true that the square root of 25 is equal, or sorry, uh, 25 is going to be equal to 1 plus Four, because that's 5 squared times the square root of 6, 36. And we can be, do that for any problem. This series is just going to keep moving forward and forward. Or not the series, this nested radical is going to keep moving forward and forward. So it turns out that this is 100% true. And we can actually look at this. So there were no restrictions on this n. So this uh, n still should work as long as we don't have anything funny going on with our, our values. So Let's do this and play our own game and say, how can I describe the number 2? So what is 2 equal? Well, 2 is equal to the square root of uh, 1 plus n minus 1, which is 1, times the square root of n plus 1 squared, which is 9. But the square root of 9 is what we started off with at the very beginning. So this is just going to end up being our 
original nested expression. So we're going to end up getting 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square uh, times 2 times the square root of 1 plus 3 times the square root, and so on. And I'm going to end up with a new radical that looks exactly the same as our original, except I'm going to be starting off with this guy. This is just my 3. So I can rewrite my new radical for 2, where I have 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus the square root of all that stuff that was 9 before. So I hope you enjoyed this little math puzzle. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your idea for uh, a different video, uh, please submit it to thinkdiceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working through problems on your own, think once, think twice, and if you ever get stuck, think thrice.